Hello everyone, so welcome to my FabLab class. So today, I'm going to teach you on how to use our laser cutter. So actually, I'm here in FabLab Hall. This is the first FabLab in the Philippines. So today, I'm going to show you how to use our laser cutter and the process of it, how, to, how you can make it. Come on. Okay, so before anything else, I'm going to share to you um, what is this machine all about. So this is a universal laser cutter. So this laser cutter can actually cut an engraved object completely design and you can just transform it to 3D model. So it produces carbon laser to engrave, cut things such as um, uh, plastic, papers, or fabric as you can see with this uh, small stuff here. So the purpose of this machine is for you to create either miniatures or a small version of things of anything you would like. So yeah, so again this is a universal laser cutter. So I'm going to open this one. So this is where the laser will come out. And then this is the honeycomb. And this is the pointing tools. So for calibrating the materials. And then, yeah, so the machine itself. So now I'm going to show you how to use the machine and the entire process of it. So let's start. Sheesh. So, okay. So. Today, um, we have to. We are using. We are going to use um, Adobe Illustrator. So this is AI. So when making AI, you have to make sure that uh, okay. So let's start with open or uh, creating new file, and then you have to make sure that the dimension of the material will be also the dimension of your artboard here. So let's say so I have 60 by 96 centimeter. So here, and I have to make sure that it's RGB, not CMYK. And then the raster effect uh, at least 300 dpi. Okay, so when I got this file, so I'm going to create the design on this one. So here, I made it in the. So, not delay. So we have to take note that um, this is actually like a map of Buhol. Where I'm going to cut and engrave the thing here of this material. And then you have to make sure that um, the details, like when you're going to use red color, um, it will be for cutting and if you're going to use black, it's for engraving. So which means this red is for cutting. So this, as you can see with the line, so those reds are for cutting. And then you have to make sure that um, the red is 255, the, you know, the green uh, 0 and the black is 0. So it's 25500 for the red. And then you say OK. And then as you can see, so again, red are for cutting and then black is for engraving so you have to make sure that on engraving the rgb is zero 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 you can also use blue lines for um tracing something but it won't cut uh, just a little um engraving okay so once we have it already so after okay so i have here the file and then control p to control uh, to print it so control p and then you have to find the VLS 660. This is a uh, universal laser system. So as you can see, this is the file that I made. This one, this thing. So you can just make sure that you are going to drag it in the middle of the white space. And then make sure that your printer is connected to the uh, laser system. After then, so print. Okay, upon printing, so after um, the thing, you are going to open the software here. So opening the software so this is how this it look like and then all you need to do is to turn it on so you can actually turn on here on the monitor or you can actually also turn uh, from the machine so you can turn it here so in turning on so here we go okay okay so it will take um seconds to, to switch it on so Anyway, so when we already identify the material that we are going to use, we have to make sure that we know the thickness of the material. So we are going to use caliper to calibrate the dimension of the materials, I mean the thickness of it. So at this time, it's like 3 mm thickness and it's a uh, soft wood with this uh, medium density fiber board. So now, as you can see, once you can see this green button, it means like the machine is already on. So next step is we're going to go with the settings. So in settings, we're going to um, to identify what kind of material we're going to use. Like for example, in this one, we're going, uh, it's a natural and it's a wood. 
and as you see it's um, medium density fiber board so MDF and then the thickness of the MDF is 3mm so to make sure that the machine will cut it uh, let's say it's 3.5 mm at, as an allowance of it and then after then apply okay and then again we are going to also set the manual control so actually the machine itself uh, will give you um, uh, the auto auto speed and power of the machine while you are going to cut but we can actually do also manual control okay for the red so as you can see it has a power of 100 uh, percent and then the speed of 9.4 uh, percent as uh, given but we can actually change this we can make it like slower or faster it depends on you so let's say let's make it 10 and the power is 100 percent then we have to set and then for black so for engraving the power is 85.7 so let's say 100 and the speed will be maybe around 90 percent and then set you can also um, escape for example blue is not necessary or even red is not necessary as well as black we can change into escape so in, which means you can just uh, escape that um, uh, that 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 process okay so after set apply then okay now we're going to uh, relocate the materials that we have so we have to open the machine so here is the machine so this is the identified material this is medium density fiber board. I'm going to place it anywhere in the anywhere in the honeycomb. So you just for example I put it here. Okay. You have to make sure that it's flattened on the board, I mean in the honeycomb. So now we're going to point uh, for example here. So here. Okay. So that's the middle of the design and then this is the middle of the floor so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, so to make sure that um, all things will be accurate, so I have to check or to calibrate. So for example, the teeth of the design is here. So I have to make sure that it's also indicated in the board. I mean like, you know, the space itself. And then also here, checking. Okay, good. Checking, checking. Okay, check, check. So now, I'm going to make sure that it has the right standard of the standard um, length from the material to the laser point. So I'm going to use this uh, box tool. So I'm going to put it here and make sure that um, this thing, this part, will be also this part. So that, so to adjust, you can just use this um, arrow down and arrow up. So to say arrow down, the honeycomb will go down. And when you push the arrow up, the honeycomb will go up. So you have to make sure that it, it is properly, you know. And then done, you can just put it back here. Make sure that it's properly touched here. And then after then, we have to close this one. And the last, uh, next to the last step, is we're going to switch on, we're going to switch on our exhaust uh, for the smoke. Okay, once it's done, uh, everything is done, so all you need to do is to switch it up. Okay, so, watch. So, as you can see, so we scan and engrave, so we can actually um, check it here. We have to make sure that we are going to see it all. Yeah. Okay, so here you can see it was engraved and cut with a laser cutter. So it's cut piece by piece, as you can see. So here. So here's the engraving, and this is the cutting. Okay, so the finished part of this one is. Okay, so it's a foam up. So actually the laser cutter is a machine that you can uh, you model and you can start to model something like this. So creating the mixer before um, creating the actual size for you of course to escape from making or having a lot of waste. So yeah, so from creating buildings, you can just actually create a prototype miniature, so the first of before building a chair, you can have to check how does it look like in a small uh, actual in a small version before proceeding to the actual size for time and for the real sources and some items. So yeah, 
So that's the laser cutter. So I'm gonna see you again for another machine. So thank you for listening and see you very soon. Bye bye.